Well, hello, Jessica. What are you doing, you little jumper? This is our Francesca. She is Nala's and Diesel's, and I can't get the gate open. So, oh, she's so now, uh, Nala. So Francesca has outgrown her baby kennel. Yep, she has. So she's going to be moved with the big, the big pack. She plays well with most of them anyway. I still do worry about her because she's small and then can get injured. So she'll still continue to go out with her mama. I see you've been busy. Um, she decided to put the wood bag in there. <laughs> you've been moving stuff around in here? Yeah. I know you just want to play with the girls, but you just ate, so you need to settle down for a little bit. I know. It's tough being the littlest. It's tough being the little squirt of the... Hi, troops. <laughs> So this is what you get greeted with. This is Farley and Evie's room. Doing today is I've touched up the paint where I wanted to, like the closet door needed to be touched up. So today I'm going to conquer getting their new kenneling system put in here. Hey, she has to wait till I'm in here to, to mess with Farley every time. You know, toys underneath there, and look how dusty. Oh, she's not. A Honestly, these two don't need kennels. Um, I just started, I took their name tags off and their bowls they had, but being um, licensed with agriculture, you have to have a way to put them up, so that's why they have kennels in their room. Um, the doors are always open. His was, but I just took stuff out of it, and I'm going to start taking it apart. And this is Ebby's over here, and she's been wanting to stay um, with Farley. So, um, I'll be taking... Her kennel apart also, she stole this toy. That's the one Kayla got you too, is Blowfish. You're gonna let her see it? Okay. So I'm gonna take these apart today, get the room how I want it, and then bring in their new kenneling. So in this room we'll have Diesel. Um, this is Farley, not Diesel. I got too many kids, huh? So this room will be Farley, my handsome guy, <laughs> Ebby, and then Nala gets along great with these two also. That This is her parent. So she is going to be rooming in here with these guys instead. And Francesca will go in with Diesel and Magnolia. She's more rambunctious like them, but she'll continue to go out with just her mom until she gets old enough where... She can, you know, they play pretty rough, so even Nala doesn't like to go out with them. Ebby, don't chew up his toy. She's chewing your blowfish. Ebby, this is why Farley can't have nice things, because you sneak them from him. He got that from his sister. I know, that's your baby. You want me to put it up so she doesn't take it? Nice toys you got here, and she's destroying them. Yeah. So that's what I'm gonna do today. And we have an old house, so we have short ceilings. So it's always fun to put these things together and get the, um, the big panels up the stairs. So right now I've got to get these guys taken out um, and then empty out their room because they have all the new kenneling, their mats. Um, they'll have room for beds, uh, water dishes. So that's what, I, that's what my agenda is today. One down. They're looking for all the goodies that they lost. Oh, far. So we got all the big panels up. There's like four of them. So when you're coming through a tight hallway in an old house, it isn't easy. So these are the stairs that they have to come up. Howdy, partner. We had to take our door off, come in our main door. This is why I have the other kennels that are coming out. Find something to do with those. It's for a few months now, but we just haven't had time or good enough weather to put them in, so this is what we're doing now. So we brought all the big panels up. These are just ends basically gates in the back ends and they should be a lot easier to get up the doors the guys not speeding huh so 
So we probably could take each our own gates. What do you think? Or do you need my help with that? So the gates are going to be heavier. And these are just the back panels right here. Oh, oh, oh. It's harder than it looks. So these are the narrow stairs. So now what holds it together are basically these big steel rods. So there's no like clamping and screwing. These big massive rods actually hold them in place. So that's what I love about this canine. What I love about these, they just kind of go in together. So one is a little bit higher than the other, so. That's it, you drop a pin in, and that's all at the top and bottom. The ones up against the wall are kind of tricky because you gotta try to fit in there. But let's see if I can get myself back here.
forgot I want to start on this wall so I can get access to the AC if I need it. Yeah. That's what I like about this system. It's your health. Um, yeah. Well, I'm going to use this one, so. So this is one of the doors. I just gotta make sure I'm having it going the right way. My little compadres. They all have like little cotter pins too to put at the bottoms. Those are long. Yeah, I never put them in. Oh. Wow. Uh, yeah, these are the right ones. Yeah. The little short ones on the handles. mats to go in on tractor supply from tractor supply for their floor they're three by fives and they are so heavy I just got this one upstairs by myself I'm winded but you can see how thick they are if my babies want to lay on the floor they're gonna have some cushion and they'll have their beds too but I bought these ahead of time I've got everything just to try to get these things up. Now getting them upstairs. I thought it was going to be cooler today, but it's hot. Very hot. So by duct taping, taping them, it made it a little easier for me to... I'm not even lying when I say these are heavier than the cameras themselves. Uh, it's such a pain. But the other dog... Too. And I put the bumpy side down so they're not they don't have to sit on the bumpy side. Nobody would want to sit on the bumpy side. So I wonder what Farley's gonna think of his new new pen. They fit in here perfectly. <sighs> One down. Well, that's what it looks like. We gotta put the door on. I guess we should have got smart and put them all in first and then the doors on. <laughs> Uh, would you retake yours or is that a different one? That's, that's, the other one. that's what I figured. Yeah. So one of them, <laughs> well we dropped it, the tape broke and it popped open so he brought up the third one. But these suckers, would you agree, are heavier than the kennels themselves? Yeah. And that's all the hardware that came with it. Yeah, most but definitely the rubber is harder than the friggin' metals. When we got them at Tractor Supply, we had them, we did curbside, so we had the guys load it. <laughs> and then um, we um, rolled them up in the back of our truck and put them in our barn until we were ready to do it because we knew this would be, from experience, the easiest way to get them up here is to roll them. We tried not rolling the first ones for 
our other ones and uh, it was very difficult even with two of us I mean we are old timers I guess middle aged middle aged yeah you can hear them hit the ground you probably have to pull it in actually Now we gotta get the other one up and get the rest of the doors on. But that door's on this one. And here comes a project manager to make sure that I'm doing everything just so. Hi, big baby. Hi, baby. Hmm. What's going on up here, big girl? It's cleaning up a little bit. What do you think? Those look fine. Yeah. She said, I guess. What's that up? Shooting something? So I got them almost all back together. I got to put, um, Abby has a bed, but her puppies, well, this gives you an idea of how big these are. Fiona's kind of a hus husky girl. Don't tell her that though. She thinks she's petite, but that's an eight by four. She said, hmm, what do you think Fiona? She said, well, if there's water, I'd take a drink. <laughs> so I I gotta order two new beds because I don't want to take the puppy's beds from them so plus the puppy's bed isn't really durable but Evie likes those kind of beds I'm not sure why so this is as you can tell Farley's so Farley's gonna go in the middle then he's gonna have his queen beside him uh, she's a terror Evie <laughs> but she loves him so he's got all his toys and his stuff in his. I like these clip bowls for water instead, and I like to just put their food in these because they get water in them with their food. It makes a mess, but they do have a next size up clip bowls, and I'm going to um, get bigger ones for them. But I usually do clip bowls for everybody's water. But um, I'm like Diesel has a clip bowl for his water and food because he loves to chew these up. Um, Nala chewed hers up too, but... It was still usable, so um, I'm probably going to order big clipper bowls for. So this will be Nala's area, and she has a Kadandra bed, Kadandra, whatever. She has a bed, so I'll put her bed in here. But the paddle fan still does work. It clears the kenneling, so they'll have their paddle fan. They have their AC, and then in the front we have a bunch of empty rooms, so the windows. You know, they can still see out the windows if they want from over there, but yet yeah, I can still clean the windows because we're on the this room's on the front, so it gets dusty, so it's hard to clean windows if you have kennels right up next to them. So, but these guys will be set. So, um, I got a spider that came in. He's can you see him? I don't think I can. It's not queuing in on him, I guess. But there's a spider that came in with it, so maybe I'll get him back outside. But you have to have a big room to set up this many. So this is um, 12 by eight. So if you don't have, these are huge rooms. Um, as you can still see, I still have area over here. I can get in there and clean on the sides. If you want to check out the window. Um, they can still feel their so their AC will go to all of them and then if it's um, a summer breeze I can just put fans in their front windows for them so they'll like that and they're not right in the Sun by having the kennels in the front they'd be right in the Sun but they're not so I think I uh, just gotta put Nala stuff in here for her and Farley, Farley and Ebby should be all set for now Ebby does have the mat she can lay on but I will be ordering her a bed, and little Francesca needs a Cadundra bed too. You want that? That one's available if you want to rent it. But so this will be Nala. Nala will start coming in here. Nala gets a, along well with these two, so it should work out fine. But I have to get Francesca a bed for hers because she outgrew her little bit, her our smallest kennel that we have, and. Um, she's going to be coming up so that's why we ordered three so we have an empty spot for um for francesca even though this one will be nala's 
um, Francesca will be over with Diesel and Mag. So that's one more thing off my list. I can get it out of my front yard, all the pallets, but I think it came out good. So I've done a little rearranging. So mama and the babies do not have to be in just the, their crate anymore. So um, our guineas have been moved out. It was cleaned up, disinfected, and now mama and her babies are out here. So the babies are getting used to uh, be bopping around. And mom too, she didn't want to just be locked in there and I don't blame her. And um, she has gotten outside a couple times, but I haven't, she hasn't been to the vet, so I really don't want more kittens. But um, these little scoots are doing very good. And somebody had a name suggestion. Kittens are using the kitty box too. Look at that one. He said, don't eat me. So he's a little bit more outgoing in this one. It's the little, mostly uh, orange one that's kind of skittish. But I still don't know what's what. Um, but they are feeling a little bit more confident. Marmadil. So we'll see. We're still looking for homes for these little kittens. I really haven't put them on any kind of groups or anything because I really want them to go to good homes. But mom's doing good. She did get out a couple times. But she's kind of just looking at the property. But this way they have more room. Um, it's still warm in here. There's plenty of windows. She can see the other kitties through that window. So um, somebody suggested naming her Lady Marmalade. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's really cute, so I think I'm going to call her Marmalade. Um, she's pretty colors, and this little kitten looks a lot like her. Hi, you little squirt. Oh, goodness. So they're getting more friendly. They see me, and they come up to me, but Mom and the kitties are doing good. They are using the kitty box and eating on their own, so I'm assuming they're just about ready to go. But... I don't want them to go too soon, but she has been hissing and stuff at them and letting them know, correcting them almost like she's done nursing, but she still will protect them. She put the smack down on Sylvester for getting too close to her. These are our other two cats. <laughs> she could see Sylvester. He's a, that's her son. She whacks him. And that's what Marmalade did to him when he went in just to say hi to her. Poor guy got beat down by all the girls around here. She's hissing at him now. That's her son. Coming out to put my flock in, and this is how I get greeted. They all come running. The geese with their wings out. Look at all the ducks running as fast as they can. No, you guys already had your second meal. It's time for bed. So, look at them still running out. <laughs> Hi. Yes. The whole crew's here to greet me. How important am I? Hey, Mr. Man. Come some more of the ducks. Grayson and Daisy. Himbo. There's Rhonda. Rhonda's crazy. So. I did put our baby guineas out here. And it really didn't go too well. They really weren't very sweet to them, for sure, so. <sighs> what I've been doing is putting the big guineas in and letting these guys stay out. So these are the babies that were in the, what I call the brooder. But the big guineas are really so awful to them. Um, I have the big guineas locked in there so these guys can get off the perch and come out and eat and drink. Um, I don't know, they've never seen them be aggressive before, but they actually were very, very aggressive. I don't know if it's because it was about 13 or 14 I put them, put them in here, but I had to come out a couple times and I let the big ones come out and you could see them just trying to pick at them. God love us, we have had some dry weather and we have able to get this smoothed out. So my husband's been in here with a tractor. Uh, got all the holes filled, got a lot of the roots out. This is going to be their enclosure. 
So I'm gonna just come through with a rake and try to rake it smooth, but we got all the big stumps out. A few trees in the middle, a few trees there for them, and this one. But it's, this all used to be just tree stumps and everything, and um, he's been working on getting them out. So he's really, this last week has been a lot of dry weather, so we've been I mean, this is the last bunch that he's got to push and fill that hole, but I think um, we will be ready to put in post sooner than later, which I'm pretty excited about. I've been buying all the materials, um, six foot fencing. Our fox is visiting us on the daily. He was out here today. Um, my husband went out with his shotgun, of course. He's a city boy, so he wasn't a very good shot. <laughs> He's got all his old Bertha here that he uses too. So who's these little puppies I see? Who's this little guy watching his mummy? It's Diesel. Hi, Dees. Look at all the eye boogers you got. I think the ACs give him eye boogers. Poor guy. Diesel. She's a mean old girl. I don't even know why you like her. She mean to you. Maggie do. So, um, if you don't follow our Facebook, Maggie decided she did not want to be pregnant, so she's not. She didn't take. Oh, she got them. She gets the best of them. She's a, she's a big girl. But this is how they play. Are you guys watching all that action? That's what I thought. Maggie likes to do that if she has an audience. Okay, it's time for you fellas to come in. So just a little recap on this week's events. Um, we did wait and recheck Maggie quite a bit and um, I don't see any puppies, so I believe her not to be pregnant. Um, this would be the second time, so that she didn't take so I'm going to I think next time we breed her we're gonna do progesterone testing to see if maybe our timings off or what it could be or um, could be a numerous things who knows but usually it's the timing is off and it doesn't work but but um, we did breed Nala like I had said before and it'll be a couple more weeks before we could tell if she's pregnant or not um, so basically anybody that was on um, Maggie's list kind of got moved to um, to Nala's list. We do have another girl that's in heat that will probably be breeding in the next couple of weeks also. We'll see. I really haven't decided confirmly yes or no on that one. But um, we might. Uh, so and then uh, we still... Uh, we're waiting for Lexi for quite a while um, if maybe some of you don't realize but Lexi's mom is pregnant that's my daughter uh, Michaela so Lexi lives with Michaela her mom and her mother is due the end of January so um, to breed a, a dog it's a couple of months pregnant and it's a couple months afterwards so that's four months Michaela's already um, four months pregnant so that would be cutting it real close to her delivery date with her, their second child so um, depending on if and when Lexi goes in it might be a cutting it close or it might just be altogether um, not done because it'll be just too much having a new baby in the house um, and they do have a toddler and then having a litter of puppies um, Lexi's way overdue for her heat but um, some girls don't go into heat every six months and Lexi is one of those so if she doesn't go into heat soon then um, we will be postponing her breeding until after our newest baby grandbaby gets here and everything's settled with them as you know having a new baby takes a lot of work so um, Anybody that's been on Lexi's list, I've kind of notified them and said that I'll just put you on Nala's list, which is kind of how it works. If for some reason we don't have enough puppies or we don't have a pregnancy like we thought, you just get bumped to the next available list. That's how we've always worked. So um, that's how it will continue to work. So 
our little puppies are seven weeks old tomorrow. Um, I'm finishing this video late. I did have a bunch of plans this weekend. Um, it was one of our granddaughter's first birthday, so that's always ahead of anything else. So we celebrated that. So it kind of made a busy weekend, but we did get a lot done around the house. We got our kenneling system set up upstairs. We got our birds moved outside. Our kitties moved into a bigger space so she can get familiar with our home. I got Sylvester here. <laughs> He's a crazy cat. So we, I feel like we did get a lot accomplished here. We still have a lot more to do. Um, we have been busy with other things. And then, you know, just like everybody else, it's always tough to do fall is fastly approaching. Our garden is doing very well. Um, I've had so many peppers. These are all my peppers here behind me. I've had so many peppers like to freeze. I'm actually backed up on getting them in the freezer just because um, I do have a busy life. Like probably most of you guys, you figure, oh, when your kids get older and they move up, your, your life is going to be slower. It's not. We're just as busy, if not more. So, um, that's the update but uh, Maggie will be another couple weeks before we check uh, it's hard to tell um, so I I would say oh I do see signs but you can see signs just because they're bred like I said before it doesn't mean that they're actually pregnant so it does feel like falls approaching where we have warm days and cool nights just kind of nice but it also is like a ticking like oh I gotta get this done I gotta get that done so we're dealing with that too. Um, but that's the update um, on Lexi and on the breeding that's been going on. And our little puppies are seven weeks old and they're busy little guys. We have about three that consistently are out, which would be Ozzy, Augustus, and little Luna. Uh, those are the three uh, amigos that terrorize, you know, and it's Sometimes Stella gets out too now, but it's always Colbert. Uh, Colbert's not even from this litter. It's always Cinder, uh, Cora, and Diesel that are always the good puppies that are always in, the, you know, waiting in their little whelping box for me. So um, we do have a scapey, so that's like a constant trying to, you know, because if they, but they jump right back in when it's time for dinner because they know, oh, well, I, because I can't put the pan down if they're right under my feet because I'll end up knocking it over. So I kind of just put it in the whelping box and you ought to see those little terrors jump right back over the edge to get in there to eat. So they know how to do it. So be prepared for those owners and families. Um, we have posted um, pickup dates. So I think everybody's pretty much on check for that. I got to get back to a couple of people. I was just trying to see everybody else's schedule. And then I was going to get back to them and say, okay, well, yes or no. Because um, a Wednesday is kind of an odd day for pickup. But I'm not sure uh, if I'll be around Saturday. So that was the one thing I was... I'm kind of holding out on and I think I have to get back one to one family on that um, we did just have a puppy that needed to be rehomed uh, Cooper from Hurley and Ellie which he's a beautiful boy and we have had tons of people like contacting us so I'm still just going through the people I just want to make sure that mr. Cooper gets to um, a good home he came from a good home and just kind of things happen in life and you can't predict it and that's you know why we say we'll help take him back rehome him no questions asked but cooper is in good shape he's a beautiful boy and he had a good life so i want him to continue to have a good life with somebody else and i'm sure that's what his you know his family wants to they just want what's best for him and that's why they're doing what's best for him so i am still going through the list i will contact um, one family that will get the opportunity to take him. He's about a year and a half old. Um, he's beautiful. So uh, that being said, uh, I think that's it for updates. So sorry about this video being late, but we had a busy weekend. Thanks for watching.